taking out <laughs> all the millions. I'm very happy about that. And suffer. And start us off. We're recording. Well, yeah, we like to record this part. The best parts is when you don't start start the show and you're just talking. <laughs> That's honestly the best parts. What's the point of a therapy dog, honestly? A th- a ther- Imagine a therapy dog that like yeah. actually understands all, what the fuck you say. All dogs are therapy dogs. Every dog is a therapy dog. That's what I'm saying, right? Unless it's Cujo and it's trying to kill you. But even still, <laughs> I'll still make him my friend. Right? <laughs> I could tell my dog my deepest, darkest secrets. <laughs> I could like kill somebody and you know come over to my and my dog would still love me you know what i'm saying <laughs> like literally slaughter a whole school of oh, yeah. nuns They'll always my dog would you know still worship the ground i walk on so i think all dogs are therapy dogs i think whoever started the service of therapy dogs is like uh from a good way of making extra money good job yeah they had a good, they had the right idea for sure, but oh, big time. Okay. Well, time to fucking start this shit. Little shifts. Okay. <laughs> Let me get it together for once in my life. And we're back. <laughs> That's a good sound to start it off, too. I heard a clink there. It was like a bottle cap or something. And we're back with another edition of the Daily Glory Pod. Your host with the most, Glory Santos, here with my partner in crime. Movie Malcolm Daly. Sponsored yes, by Katie Sign Systems. Hell yeah. Got mine up, finally. So, yeah, you got some work to do. <laughs> oh yeah, if you want to get your signs up You got a business you're running You're trying right. to get a big sign for maybe a promposer Or proposal You know, you just want to let people know Where you are or what you represent KD Sign Systems Put us on so they can definitely Put you on great prices Great quotes, great people Definitely check in with KD Sign Systems You can find them on the internet, right. online um, Hey man, you can even hit us up Let us Let us know where we could help you in connecting you to KD Science Systems. But that is our sponsor. Thank you, KD. Man, oh, man. We are in the week of June, man. We just started June. Yeah. We're on the yeah. second of June, bro. Time is flying. God yeah. damn. No Jesus. kidding. There's a couple things I have coming up that I was like, okay, well, we're already there. It's already June. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, and but since it's already June, look, let me just I hate to break it to you, but if you thought you could just start getting your summer body now, just give up. Just give up. You had <laughs> five whole months to get your life together. You couldn't put that Twinkie down for just two days straight. You couldn't. And I'm not you shaming. Me I'm just or saying. you talking to somebody else? Because I'm talking to all of you. All of you. <laughs> all of you over all here. Of all of you. Okay, it's just just accept the body. You know what I'm saying? You can even work out in the summer. That's even better. You know, you get great, great sweat. You can do workouts outside. Oh, workouts outside. You know what I'm saying? Let everybody know you're flabby and you know it. Okay? Go do some chin-ups at the playground. (laughs) Oh, God. (laughs) If you're you're a woman, if you're you're a man, don't do that, please. That's a quick way to get yourself arrested. Yeah, well, when the kids aren't there, but find yeah. a hill up and down the hill. I'm just saying, you can use your neighborhood. Use the oh yeah, man. The light post if you can reach it. Like you can use your neighborhood to do shit. Go for a run. Do some push ups. Do some sit ups. Oh hell yeah! You don't need to go to the gym to get fit. You really don't, shout man. Out to Greg, he's the one who taught me that. <laughs> oh yeah, shout out to Greg, man. Yo, and it costs like sixty, a hundred bucks for a PT. Yeah. God damn, man. You know, my cousin Plus tried to put me hundred bucks that. for some gyms. Oh yeah. Good life's like seventy, I think. Seventy, yeah. You know, my cousin tried to put me onto PT. Guys, we don't get it. All it takes to be a PT, it's basically a thousand dollars. It's six hundred for the courses, three hundred for the tests. But guys, it's 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 basic stuff for us to be a PT, especially you can when just you're yell at somebody into being fit. 
Honestly, <laughs> it's also so easy to train, man. All you got to do is like yell at them or like, hey, buddy, are you shit? Like, you know, if you give them an instruction, it, they're going to do it. Honestly, they don't want to let you down. So being a PT is easy. And, and plus, they make good money. Well, are you frozen? Getting, okay. if, no, no, I'm not frozen. I'm just thinking okay. if they're getting work. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true, man. If you. There's probably yeah. so many now, it's hard to actually get clientele, I would think. But I don't know. I'm not a personal trainer. Right? Every damn I'm on the inst- on my Instagram stories is Danny from Good Life. Or, like, yeah. some friend trying to put on their PT trainer at, like, some other gym or whatever. It's like, mm-hmm. if Danny was a good PT, ad- he would hit me up. Yeah, it's ads. Do you want to get off the couch? Do you want to get fit? <laughs> Yo, did you remember those Everest College ads? Those like ads that you they used to get those old ads like remember this college yeah. and there would be like what are you still doing in with bed you still you still got a job <laughs> <laughs> that, Dude, that, that that that's one of my favorite guy. yeah that's one of my favorite parts in fucking Shameless in the last season he like Mickey's sitting on the couch not doing anything he's like what are you doing he's like are you just sitting on the couch not doing anything in your life he's like well what the fuck are you doing Jerome. Right, <laughs> and he's talking Jerome. to the TV, and he's like, "Stop disappointing your family." He's like, "All right, Jerome, fuck." Turns the TV <laughs> off and start, goes out. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. That Everest College guy single-handedly saved like <laughs> the whole <laughs> five hundred people's lives. Man, shout out to him wherever he's at. <laughs> yeah. Him and the Oliver Jewelry guy, classics. If you're from Toronto, you know, you know. Yeah. But we all have those like local classic commercial guys that are like <laughs> legends in oh, our own areas. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Sounds like Kool Aid man. Didn't he spray paint his head gold or silver or something at one point too? Oh yeah, he did, man. He was desperate. Yeah, it went all out. Hey, so, it works. Did you have you checked sh- uh, Stranger Things out since last week? I have not checked Stranger Things out. All I know is I can't get it out of my head because all my coworkers are talking about it, bro. It's just okay, well, I can't avoid it. We don't it, have man. to talk about it, but I did. I finished it. I'm done. <laughs> oh no, no, no! They haven't talked. They have, they didn't talk to me about it like in detail or anything. They're just like, oh, do you see this? You see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they just go on to the next show. But you could definitely drop some. Uh, let us know what, what you think, how the season went. Is it a letdown? Was it, did no, it live up no, to it for I, the final season? I liked it, actually. It was. I wasn't sure how good it was going to be, and it's not going to be the final season. But I also kind of I kind of realized with this one, there's kind of a, there's a reason to it, because it's a kind of a different villain in each season. And right. because it's all coming from one place. So it's like, picture the upside down is hell. Pull out another another villain out of hell like there's all different kinds of shit that's gonna be bad right what pisses me off is this is netflix's way of trying to keep people or like make a comeback is the first seven episodes are up and then you gotta wait until july 1st to get the last two just put it all out now it's because they want to be number they want to be like number one right now and then they want to be number one again later like I already canceled it. I don't care. I got other places uh-huh. that I can watch it. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, yeah. We're not going <laughs> to let them know the plugs. Else. So We're going to let them know the plugs. But uh, Netflix, you guys played yourself big time, man. Netflix yeah. and Hulu, too, man. Hulu, Why, you Hulu can't Hulu? even watch in Canada, which sucks. <laughs> oh, really? No, oh, no, you can't watch in Canada, man. I, <laughs> I, mean, try, to, I try to use the VPN. The way Hulu, though. Like, that's kind of a yeah. random one to bring up. <laughs> Oh no, there's a lot of great shows on Hulu like uh Atlanta from the FX FX. Oh, yeah. I have a lot of shows, a lot of great shows like uh I forgot the, the Fargo, Fargo that's another great show too. But You know man. that's a remake, right, from a movie? Oh yes, I do. It's okay. classic. <laughs> a nice classic <laughs> too. Sure. Man, right. yo, you know what's funny? What's been brought up recently? A movie that I haven't watched that's a classic. Imagine somebody not watching Forrest Gump, and I've watched Forrest Gump. <laughs> now, on my end, I have not watched Good Will Hunting. And whenever I bring that up... No, uh, that's, that's fair. Yeah. That's fair. 
It's like not watching Shawshank Redemption. You know what I'm saying? Is it? Like, you haven't watched. Where have you? Have you seen Shawshank? Do you have internet? Da, da, da. Have you seen Shawshank? Like, oh, I've seen Shawshank. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've, I've seen Shawshank. Come no, on, man. But no, I I wouldn't put Goodwill Hunting as high as the, the those two though. Forrest Gump and uh, really Shawshank. Like those, I I'd give you like I'm not I wouldn't give you shit anyway, but yeah. Like, I wouldn't. I would give you more shit for Shawshank and Forrest Gump than Goodwill Hunting. Oh yeah, for sure. Goodwill Hunting seems like one of those. It, it, I, I don't know the premise of the movie. I just know Robin uh, Robin Williams is in it. Uh, is Leonardo DiCaprio in it? No, it's Matt. Oh, Matt Damon. Damon. Matt Damon is Both Matt Affleck. Damon. Jesus Christ. Ben. Oh yeah. Affleck, Cole Hauser, and. Can't remember if there's a last guy that matters or not, but <laughs> yeah, man. I, I don't yeah. know. Like, no, it's watch Goodwill, watch. Goodwill Hunting's amazing. It's it's this poor this kid who's poor. He's got no yeah. money, but he's a genius. But he's also like kind of fucked in the head. So right. Robin Williams wants to like him and his buddies want him to like fuck. It's been a while. I think not like go to school, but kind yeah. of maybe. Because like, if you've ever seen a scene where, or you've probably seen the commercial, but Family Guy's done it as well, where somebody walks in and there's an equation on a on a board in college, and this like janitor goes in and he finishes the equation. That's what that's based from. He's working as a janitor and he finishes this equation that's like nobody can do, not even the professor. And right. he did it just by looking at it and by reading because his mind works differently. So then it's really good. It's yeah, it's really good. Although All family, I remember yeah, family guy fucking ruined it for me. Family guys ruined everything. Oh, for me. God. This is me off, man. God. I'm watching star Wars the other night and I'm like, I can't not see all the family guy shit in this and not laugh. <laughs> Same with goodwill hunting. There's a bunch of shit in that that screws me up. Like, yeah, I can't like everything's ruined. All the good stuff. I have a question done. for all the Family Guy enthusiasts. It's kind of like uh, the SpongeBob enthusiasts, to where they think the show has gone on for too long, and that <laughs> it's they it's already lost its magic a while ago. And why is it run? Do you feel that way? No, fuck that. Jesse really? and I, my brother and I, we love watching it together too much, and like it's not nearly as funny as it used to. But there's right. still some episodes here and there when we're watching that's like, holy shit, that like that was good. We're still hurled over. Some of them this, were like, hey, whatever, yeah. but some hit hard. Like there was one new one where yeah. it was three Michael Bay films. Or it was three directors. Yeah. And it, they he did it was Quentin, Michael Bay, and uh one of the Andersons. But the way they yeah. did it was just like so fucking funny. Jesse and I couldn't stop laughing. And that was like the a couple seasons ago. Is that so. the same writers that they have from how many ever years ago still writing now? That is what I'm not sure. I know it's the same voices considering Seth MacFarlane does like oh, most yeah. of But Oh yeah. So he's very he was, talented. He probably wrote a lot more than he used to, but I'm sure some of the better ones come in here and there. Like that director one was like yeah. for all we know it could have been Seth that did it himself because it was super well done, but yeah, I don't know for sure. Yeah, a lot of long running shows, man. Like SpongeBob, I think they should cancel that shit, bro. I watched SpongeBob the other day. It was so <laughs> disgraceful, man. I, I think I seen it, it, it. It's gotten so fruity and sus to the point where I'm like, "This is what you want." I've stopped my brother from watching it. I'm like, "You will not <laughs> ruin two generations, okay, SpongeBob? <laughs> you will not ruin us." Man, it's gotten it, it's gotten real messed up, man. I I, I don't know, but. It's we're not gonna talk about the fact that it's election day in Ontario. I didn't even did you even vote. I didn't even vote. I think now. I know my movie of the week now just from that. Sorry, go ahead though. <laughs> we're not gonna talk about the fact that it's today and whatever. I'm just we're just here to pop an imaginary champagne bottle for our boy, Mr. D E P P Johnny. Johnny Depp. Yeah, because didn't he got like fifteen million and she got two or something? Two yeah. million because of the they said the, his lawyers. What's it called? 
the the fam had defamatory statements or the character, whatever, whatever it is. I don't care. I'm just this is a big win because yeah. I remember in the video she was like, "Who's gonna believe you, the judge or the jury, that a man that you hit me, or whatever, or that uh, I hit you, or whatever?" Because you, she, basically she's referring to the fact that she's a woman and he's a man, and who's gonna believe you in this court? And yo. She honestly had a point, bro, because that's how the justice system is. She honestly had a point, but man, she couldn't have picked the worst starting lineup of lawyers I've ever seen in my life, bro. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. Holy cow. Good. And I remember, like, she was saying something like it's setting women back a whole bunch of years. Like, no. Well, no. Yeah, like I don't I don't want anybody getting mad at us, but like no. There's facts and like men are victims too. <laughs> like it's setting real SA victims. Uh, we we can't for YouTube purposes, we can't say the uh the words. But it's re- but you you know the initial SA victims. You know the initials SA. I'm trying to no. A- actual salt. Oh, yeah, 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 it's, it's setting, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can't say it for YouTube purposes, we'll get demonetized, but yeah, it's setting those kind of victims back, whether they're men or women or any, yeah. or whatever age, like, when you're making the fam- false statements like that, you're using the justice system against him, I think she, it's reverse, she held woman back, really, I think yeah. it's reverse, and, well, and yeah. social media show too. Like a lot of women hate her, bro. Like, dog. Like, have genuine. Like, if they see her, it's on sight type of like hate. You know what I'm saying? I've never yeah. seen this. Yeah. No. And I, I exactly. I agree. Cause, yeah. No. That's that's a good point. Cause if it was real, then yeah. I'm just happy she got a. <laughs> She got the name Amber Turd for the rest of her life. I, that's all I got out of this trial of, of this one month trial. Amber Turd. That's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh man. But shout out to him. Yeah, yeah. The only reason I was bringing Stranger Things up earlier was because there's a song from 1985 that has reached number one on iTunes now. Yeah. And Spotify. It has increased for more than 9,990%. What? Because of Stranger Things. What song is that? Running Up That Hill or Running Up the Hill by Kate Bush. By Kate Bush. Shout out to you. Hopefully you're still alive, but hey, man. (laughs) (laughs) 1985 wasn't that long ago. Yeah, it wasn't that long ago, but... I'm checking. Yo, 1999... Or 1996, we didn't see him, wasn't that long ago for Fresh Prince of Bel Air. But man, 30 years, it's about to be 30 oh. years. Holy crap, man. Yeah, she's 63. We're good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's 60. She's still alive. Awesome, Kate. Making that money. <laughs> still making that money. Big racks in 2022, man. But yo, that reminds me of like shows like Glee. Whenever they would like do a song, it would always be number one on iTunes. Or some uh, shit like that way back iPhone, when. So I didn't know that, but Glee doesn't surprise me because wasn't it all based around like music? It was about a yeah high school not choir, but yeah singing. That's how you know music back then was crap. If just these shows are just <laughs> you can act and sing and be number one, man. That's um, how you know music was bad. Yeah. So. There's a a new trailer that came out for, like, a new DC show. Mm. Gotham Knight. Yes. Gotham Knight. Have you seen the trailer? Have you seen the trailer? I have not seen the trailer. I wish there was a way for us to see these things, but they don't. Yeah. Again, YouTube would copyright us. Yeah, we'll, we'll get it fine. figured out. Maybe it's like if we show part of it or something, because I know yeah. we know other people did, but it doesn't matter. We wouldn't want to show this one. Don't. Yeah. It looks horrible. There's a joke tweet I saw that it was like, um, 
The upcoming Batman spinoff Gotham Knights is the first television series to cost seven dollars. Oh Jesus! <laughs> oh it Jesus! Looks bad man. There's the, the there's good ideas there. It's like Batman had a kid and Batman's dead, so now crime's like running wild because Batman's dead. <laughs> Joker had a daughter, so oh child uh, of Joker. Like there's a couple good ideas there, but no, it looks bad. Oh fuck! Is it like the Flash? The Flash show? No, the Remember Flash show was actually good. This yeah. is just a bunch of nobodies, like getting all <laughs> cheesy. Like my father's dead. I must avenge him. Like that's such an interesting observation. Do you ever observe like those actors? Like it could even be maybe a seasoned actor, but just those actors, like in whatever show or movie you're watching, that are like you could you could tell like this is some. They're trying way too hard to play this role yeah. or to be this on the script, you know? Yeah, and like, I think that's going to be this show and, like, yeah. all of them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, right every after night. the... <laughs> every night. Well, because, like, Batman's son gets arrested because they think he's he's a suspect because he was gonna wanted to kill him for his money. Yeah. Like, but then the entire trailer he's in jail and he's getting transported like you're telling me this rich bitch isn't gonna post bill like you know what i'm saying <laughs> come on <laughs> and you know what's funny? he's a suspect yeah. you're arresting him like uh, which i guess maybe in the show there's evidence but they arrest like a whole group of people i don't know you know what's Over. funny it seems like marvel and dc fans are never satisfied from the outside looking in like just, just us regular DC. people no, it DC seems like DC suck. and Marvel fans. Oh, DC. Okay. DC is just sucking. Marvel, everybody's loving. Other than right. the She-Hulk trailer, but yeah. But no, DC. Like, yeah. Who's oh, on DC? Gosh. Who's on DC? Batman. Batman. Yeah. Superman. Um, Flash. Superman. Flash. Cyborg. Ju- well, it's Justice League, so Green That's Lantern. The, yeah. Yes. Ew, Green Lantern. Jesus. I actually didn't mind the Ryan Reynolds Green Lantern, but that's probably because it was Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, I was about <laughs> to say it's Ryan Reynolds. You wouldn't mind. <laughs> but which, speaking of, there's um. So now that's been out for a minute. Deadpool was not in Doctor Strange. Mm. So I could say that 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 was it was a rumor, but now there uh, fans are like, well, what if Spider Man appears in Deadpool three? Yeah. Like, oh my god, that would be amazing. It's not gonna happen, but. It's not really, is it? That would be amazing, though. That'd be so funny. I hope they wouldn't fuck up the script. You know those movies that seem too good to be true? Like in the trailer, or like when they announce it? Yeah. And it's like, oh, oh. But then the writers find a way to fuck yeah. up the but script. But that's well, and that, but that's the problem, what you said right there, too. When you go, oh, it's because then your expectations are so high. People got to yeah. lower them, too. Like, that's like there true. was something that... Uh, like the the pre so the prequel Star Wars series like one two and three, uh the like apparently a bunch of fans were upset with it but like that's because their expectations were so high. George yeah. Lucas is did all three. The only Star Wars he did of the originals was A New Hope. A New Hope, yeah. He didn't okay. actually do five and six. So like, just put your trust in the guy who fucking created it. Yeah. Like that's actually insane. Like yeah, we could, I, I think people could fuck up, like, the fans could fuck up. The, not the writers, the fans could fuck up the movie. Yeah, because their expectations were so high that they were expecting so much. That was the yeah. problem. Because I and that just rewatch them. And, and that there's so, so many much. theories and, like, the Marvel Universe fan base is so wide and vast is that it. I think it affects the writers. Like, the writers go on Reddit and social media and actually see... The fan theories and thoughts and this, that, and the third when it's announced mm. that it actually, for the writers, they take it in, but they don't know which one to put in. And it's like just this mix match or whatever. Although they have their own ideas and everything, it's just too much to live up to that. It just ultimately flops just like that. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It, yeah, exactly. 100%. It, it really is like... Again, and to music, apply it to music, to this new Kendrick Lamar album that everybody was, like, leading up to it was like, oh, my God, Jesus Christ. Even myself, I was literally, I had work that day. I was not sleeping. And then <laughs> and then for for some people, it was a letdown, like a huge, like, what the fuck is this? This was not what I was expecting, Kendrick. And, you know, it affected his sales. But it's like, yo, 
at the end of it, it was a good album, but you yourself, the fan, the fanatic, we, we really, we, it's really us, honestly, that messes up the movies. I think we have to admit one yeah. of these shows. Hold yourselves accountable. You're right. <laughs> Gotta hold yourselves accountable, man. I'm thinking. We're in June right now. It's June the second. We're we're midway in the into 2022. By the way, I had a. I think I, I seen this question on Reddit. I I don't know if I. I don't know if we should bring it up or not. If anything, if this is going to be appropriate. By the way, Reddit is a vast. Reddit is like the Jerry Springer of the internet, or where people bring their dirty laundry, just anonymous. Except this time they you're on Reddit, so it's anonymous or whatever. My wife's mother's trying to peg me, and I don't know how I feel about this. Should I try it? And it's like, dude, you gotta be joking. And no, they bring facts of literal like my mother-in-law and. My father-in-law and my son is uh, messing with this girl whose mother I used to F with. And now the mother wants to get back with me through the my. And it's like, what the hell? But I, I don't know if I should bring it up or anything. But, uh, <laughs> I kind of want you to. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. While well, I'm looking, do you, uh, while I'm looking, do you have anything to bring up in between? Because whatever you bring up might uh, actually be better. Did you hear about the new car? There's a new car coming that was an old classic. Okay, which car is this? The DeLorean from Back to the Future. DeLorean Motor Company has revealed an all new take. It's a new take. Like, I don't know if it's 100% it's coming, but they did a new take on the classic 80s model, but a four seater. So they probably want to see what people would think of what it like. Because it looks pretty good. Oh, fuck. That's sexy. Right? Like. That is sexy. I'd love to see that happen again. But it was because there were the, the, the owner or the creator of the DeLorean or some. He got arrested trying to sell coke or some shit. What? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's a whole thing. There's a movie. Actually, I watched a movie based on it. I think it was yeah. The Drive. Or it's just called Drive. Mm-hmm. And it's got, uh, let me check, it's got Jason Sudeikis in it. But yeah, he was um, he was running out of money on creating this car. And um, yes, so he wanted, yeah, he was going to do like a Coke deal to get the money to save his company. But the FBI caught him and he's been in jail Bro, ever since, I think. Fuck? Why is it always like Coke? It's always coke. In the middle of all these things, it's always coke, bro. What the hell? It's me in his sleep. Okay, here we go. Are you ready for this? Yeah, hit me with it. I'll try to cut this down. It's a whole paragraph, but the (laughs) title reads... I'll stop you if it's too bad. (laughs) My 26 husband and 37 male. My 26-year-old husband, 37-year-old male. So she's 26 year old. She she's 26 years old. Her husband is uh, 37 years old, and she says, "My husband hits me in his sleep." Okay. And it reads, "My husband and I are recently married, and every so often he will hit me in the face or head, pretty hard while we are falling asleep." I didn't think of it much at first, and I assumed <laughs> he was just an active sleeper. But I'm starting to wonder if there's a pattern here that I was missing before. For example, (laughs) some nights when we go to bed, he is super relaxed, especially if we had sex and we fall asleep quietly with no groaning or throwing hands. However, throwing hands. (laughs) (laughs) However, I'm noticing that when he is annoyed about anything. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, shit. Yeah, okay. What right. is annoying about anything, especially when not given, <laughs> he will be very agitated through body language as we are going to sleep, shaking his leg, hitting the bed with his hand, heavy sighing, breathing, creating a tense environment, for sometimes for hours. I also want to note that we have sex at least six to seven days per week. 
Okay, that's pretty that's pretty good. But that's not <laughs> enough. He wants two times daily and super rough for him to finish. <laughs> Last night I told him I was too tired for sex and he seemed annoying. As we were falling asleep, he hit me square in the face enough for it to scare me. I yelled, babe. You look to be asleep, but I'm starting to think he's trying to cover for it and could possibly know what he is doing. Maybe. It It's all really vague the way it happens. Yada, yada. This happened a strong handful of times. Very suspicious. When he is frustrated, <laughs> when he is frustrated, he will also just be very loud as I'm trying to fall asleep. Sometimes for hours, sighing heavily and grunting, just making a ruckus, almost to keep me awake on purpose. Has anyone heard of anything like this? I am trying to decide how to approach this conversation or whether to bring it up at all. Um, Jesus You're Christ. You're hitting you. You bring it up for fuck's sake. Jesus Christ, man. Well, we already got through one case of this. Now we're going to have another one? Like... <laughs> Yo, what if your wife is doing that? Your girl was hitting you in their sleep. We, I know people sleepwalk or like talking in their sleep. This is next level. Some ex, well, you better you call a priest. To, I mean, but like you don't even have to like claim that it's on purpose. Just say, yo, you're decking me in your sleep. We got to figure right? this out. Yo, we like, got to call an exorcist or something, plans. man. Jesus Christ. You, what are you going through in your sleep like this? You I mean, said, I have some crazy dreams, but I'm not hitting my dog. <laughs> right. So one person said, replied, I had a brief period where I was hitting my wife in my sleep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Who be are a... you people finding? Who are you marrying? <laughs> like you didn't go through this as like when you guys were boyfriend and girlfriend, like yeah. you waited <laughs> yeah, exactly. to bring this up. This never happened <laughs> when you were boyfriend and girlfriend. But when you got when he put a ring on it, <laughs> bitch. You didn't give me a sandwich, bitch. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Daryl. Oh like, what? Hell no. Um, and yeah, she described it. I'd raise my arm up to uh to its full height and then let it drop down since our bed is very small. It would bonk her. It was very weird. Only happened a handful of times. Yeah, I say, right? <laughs> Another handful, right? I say that only to point out that it doesn't seem like what's happening here at all. This is definitely on purpose. He, even though my <laughs> husband admit, yes, yeah, definitely. He's hitting you on purpose, man. <laughs> he's definitely, he's definitely amber turning your ass on purpose in his sleep. So it's very, uh, Jesus Christ, man. Jesus. Yo, these are Reddit's a, a great place. We even have one that's saying, are you ready for this? You ready for this one? Is being physically disabled a turn off to girls? I don't want to go there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to go there. Either. I but I you're in line. Reddit being the Jerry Springer of the internet is fucking gold. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Thank you. No, I'm just like you remember Jerry Springer, man. Or Mori, Mori Pavlovich. Yeah, and Pavlovich? Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that, I remember his name. <laughs> Povich, yes. He's done, actually, apparently, after, like, 33 seasons, but... Jesus. What I, what's weird to me out was, like, Jerry Springer was, like, an after-school special. Why was it on at 4 o'clock in the afternoon? Right? When we got home from school. <laughs> that crazy crap that's was not right crazy. after... Johnny, how was school today? Yeah, school was very good. Psh, Jerry, Psh, Jerry. Psh. Yeah, like who's signing off on having that on at that time? I think that single-handedly fucked up a generation. Jerry Springer <laughs> yeah. and Maury Povich single-handedly. Yeah. Who was up the other? Generation. There was another, not Doctor Phil, but there was another one other than Maury. I think. Oh, I, I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it wasn't oh Steve. Was it Steve? Uh, something close. <laughs> Don't say Steve Harvey. No, Jesus, no. <laughs> Fuck that guy. Services. Services. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to get it. Who was similar to Maury? Who's, yeah, man. Where they Who's, had the DNA test. Op and, <laughs> Oprah. <laughs> right? I was about to say Oprah. 
I love how the internet said open. Maybe there wasn't. Maybe. There's only one Mori Povich. So he's on for 33 years, my boy. <laughs> I think that's, I think, I think it's a Legit. life goal. Or a life achievement that we've not, I, I haven't, uh, Never made it on a Maury Povich show. That shows these shows are crazy. They bring out the craziest storyline. My uncle messed <laughs> with my. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember this one show on Maury Povich. The sixty, I think she was sixty-seven tiered, and all it was a, a special show where the parents bring over their slutty like daughters and sons or whatever. Like they just kept like having sex, and this one white girl was like my favorite. <laughs> My favorite flavor of popsicle stick is dick. And I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I kid you not. I'm like, that's an all time sound bite. You're fucked in the head, but Jesus Christ, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, there is a couple I've seen online recently that pissed me off that were like, mm. um, I dropped my family because they didn't have enough followers. And another oh, yeah. one was Dr. another Phil. one was pissed because her mom wanted to give her like a Mercedes something, and uh, I don't even want to talk about it because it just no oh, yeah. You spoiled, entitled, privileged kids, man. That's what Doctor Phil's a fake ass show, anyways. Yeah. Oh, I hope so. No, oh, no. I mean, imagine willfully sending out emails and and like invites for people to air out their dirty laundry. Then you bring them onto your show, you braid them and shame them. Which, by the way, I don't feel bad for them because they went on the show anyways with their dirty laundry. They didn't have to tell the world, let alone yeah. Dr. Phil. But man, bro, Jesus. And he's always sending True. them to these fake ass ranches. This is Sunnyside Healing Center, where after <laughs> this, through this six month program, You'll have yourself feeling like a new person, literally <laughs> three months in in the straight jacket. <laughs> straight. We can't save her. She can't be saved. Yeah, man. I, I think those things are fake. I hope those so. Branches. Yeah, man. God damn. God damn. Single handedly ruining generations. But I think mostly. <sighs> That's all I got this week. <laughs> That's all I got this week, too, man. We've been really busy. Yeah. Work, I work 40 hours, man. That's regular, though. <laughs> yeah. That's full-time. That's what people are supposed to be working. No, I'm on part-time, too, which is fucked. But I just took some hours of I need the money. You know that. Yeah. We all um, need the money, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I don't want to say we all just because, yeah, there are some fucking people who don't. <laughs> yeah, man. There are some people who don't, but, man, retail sucks. I hate retail. Fuck retail. I've never heard anybody enjoy retail. Retail? Fuck retail. Like, re I think Elon Musk work, or Bill Gates worked retail, and it was at that point in their lives they said, I'm going to eliminate <laughs> the human race. And that's what I've been on these past oh, two weeks. You know what? That's what Jeff, that's why Jeff Bezos created Amazon. He worked for two <laughs> hours in retail, and he went, "Fuck this! We're doing this from home." <laughs> nice one, nice one. Man. <laughs> He's legit. <laughs> he looks at his manager. You will rue the day. <laughs> All right, Jeff, go fucking. <laughs> Go back to your mom. You will rue the day. Watch me. <laughs> Boom. 20 years later. Knocks out a billion jobs of, of retail. <laughs> yeah. Legit. <laughs> and it yeah. creates, and you know what's yeah. even worse? He not only changes the game, he has his own sweatshop where everybody, every worker just complains that it's hell too. <laughs> There's no AC. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. It's like. Who's laughing now, motherfuckers? Well, and yeah, like I heard that their, uh, like their warehouses, whenever they're working, like they're getting watched, like right here, like somebody else. I'm telling you, watching you work. Yes, they're. Like, I've no, never no, heard a good true. thing about their warehouses. Everybody hates working there. 
Amazon, I'm telling you, all these billionaires, Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, Bill Gates, they all work for retail, trust me. You're going to see on their LinkedIn, <laughs> worked, at, <laughs> their LinkedIn worked at Walmart in 1986, <laughs> yeah. 1986, 1970. <laughs> Just, Before man. LinkedIn was even invented. Right? Man, LinkedIn is a beast. I think people add... LinkedIn's amazing. LinkedIn is a beast, man. It is a beast. I mean it in a good way and a bad way because some people use LinkedIn just to add people and make themselves look good. You know what I'm saying? Just to have the number. And then some people genuinely use LinkedIn for the expressed purpose of what it was created for, which is actually connect and hit up people. Say, hey, I'm this, that, the third. I connect. Oh, you know this, you know that. Or just old high school buddies or friends or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I think LinkedIn, man, some people just, it, I think it, it, it's going to turn into a, a bit of Instagram where those people just come off of the numbers, you know, mm-hmm. like 126 connections. Well, or 100 connections. I think that might be why, like, when you see, I think the max it shows when you're looking at somebody else's profile is 500 it's plus connections. Plus. Yeah, you're right. So I like that it doesn't show anything. Right, right, you're right. That's true. That is true. It doesn't show like, oh, this person has 10,000 or 1,000 1, or whatever like that. You know? Keeps it keeps everybody humble. Knocks that off the park. Yeah, exactly. Kind of like Instagram. Kind of like how they remove Instagram likes. Yeah. Yeah, if you want to choose to or whatever. Yeah. I think it gave you the choice. Which is just funny, by the way. Just like, if you don't get enough likes... I see people who don't get enough likes on Instagram cancel out their Instagram likes. Like, you will not see me get these two likes in two hours post. I'm like, okay, it's Instagram, man. <laughs> I don't care. Jesus. Like, is your life on my... Right? Yeah. yeah, man. I mean, not that. That's, that's life. But that's all I got for this week. That's man. life. We have been crazy that's busy. Life. Do you think it is time for movie yeah. of the week? Yeah, so I was gonna do Gangs of New York because you went. It's election day. That's the yes. like that. That's a line from Gangs. But nice. I did that. I did that on week three. So yeah, or episode oh, three. Yeah, but the movie of the week, Goodwill Hunting. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> nice, nice. I had to do it. I had to do it, and because it is, it's a wicked one. I'm gonna give it 8.7 Shamrocks out of 10. Right. It is a well done movie. Yeah, man, I've been getting that movie brought up lately. Like coworkers, like even this girl I'm talking to, she's like, "You haven't watched Good Will Hunting? It's amazing. You gotta watch Good Will Hunting." I'm like, "Fuck, fine. If yeah. if it's worth this hype and it's a cult classic, it's like it it's is. yeah, cult it's classic. Very di- it is, and it's like it's very different." It kickstarted the Affleck's careers and Matt Damon. Matt Damon and Ben Affleck wrote wrote it, and it's ah, and it wow. it's amazing. Like it's, and they, it was like one of their first. Um, it it was driven by the way the DeLorean movie, but don't watch it. It kind of sucked. Um, like yeah, it was like the first project I think the two of them did. Or either one wow. of them, or something, or one of the one of the first what better a, ones, at least. And like, what a way to yeah. kick in the industry, eh? Yeah, Boom, yeah. Like Matt Damon plastic. has five writing credits. One of them's not even released. First That's thing that they wrote crazy. was was Goodwill Hunting, and it was very well done. So that's why, as soon as you said that at the beginning too, though, I'm like, well, I'm I'm totally gonna flip it around on you then and use Goodwill Hunting. <laughs> the other week. Man, oh man. 8.7 Shamrocks, definitely a movie you got to catch. Cult classic if you haven't. Not up there with uh, Forrest Gump and uh, Shawshank Redemption, as you said, in terms of, like, popularity, like, staple yeah. movies. Well, yeah, yeah. Like, I would put it as as good. I just wouldn't put it as, like, I wouldn't expect you to see that like you would see Shawshank or Forrest Gump. Right. Okay, okay. Yeah. But I would Okay, say perfect. Well, that has been another edition of the Daily Glory Pod. You could catch us anytime, either on your Thursdays or Fridays. Obviously, this dropping on Friday. <laughs> yeah. Around, you know, Planning 12 on Thursday p.m. at noon. <laughs> Every at week. 12 noon. Yeah, we're going to plan on that. 
But honestly, guys, it has been a blast. We will be dropping more, staying consistent. Look at us. Sponsored Don't forget, by KD Signs. KD Signs sponsored. Get yours. Hit up KD Signs online. They do have their Instagram, yes, social media. Yeah, yes, they have been firing Katie that up. Signs, hit them up if you want anything for business inquiries, for your own, um, even yeah. just, you know, just to have a sign, just to say, I rep this. Hit them up. They got us up. Like you said, us hit up. us up and we'll connect you. Exactly. Hit us up, man. We're very, very responsive. But that has been another edition. We will see you when we see you. Peace.